All right, so we're back with part two of the 370 cubic inch LY6 truck build. So you can see here, we got this thing all ready and begging for a top end. So she's in what the form that we call a short block complete, which means we got the covers and the damper on and we're just waiting to put the top end to it. Um, we are gonna first go into the lifter that we're using. So we're using a Johnson High Lift OE style lifter. Um, you can see, you know, th this lifter here has got the good clip in it. So versus the wire clip, which is a telltale sign that you have a Chinese offshore lifter. Next, we're, every engine we build, we're using brand new GM buckets and we drill a 3 8 drain back hole here. So that way, you know, you can imagine if, you know, you had you know, no drain back hole, how much oil can be held in, you know, four of these. So we drill those drain back holes in and uh, that will get the oil back into the sump where it can be used a little better. Um, next after that, we are going with Kometic head gasket. So these days, it used to be cheaper to, to buy, you know, a GM head gasket, which was a good quality head gasket. And we would just use the Kometic for, let's say, our higher horsepower builds or our boosted builds. But now GM has priced the factory head gasket so high that this is actually less expensive and quite honestly a much better gasket. So you always want to be mindful, you know, using these gaskets, which we've mentioned in the past, that, you know, the front you want to make sure goes to the front of the engine, which is pretty much common sense, but we've seen some people make some mistakes and, um, you know, that, um, you know, will block off the holes in the back. So this gasket is now our go-to gasket on every build we do. Um, so that's a, a really, really good piece. Next. We're going to go into the cylinder head. So this, you know, we're using our, you know, Golan Engine LS3 CNC ported head that we CNC port here in house in our Centroid 5 axis machine. So it does a beautiful job. This head flows amazing and might be a little overkill for this build, but I really feel it's going to, you know, make, you know, some really good torque um, for this truck package, which obviously we'll find out in the next episode when we do the testing with this camshaft. I, I just think that this cam with its lower LSA is going to, just crank the torque, especially with the truck intake. So we're using a rev stainless steel valve. Um, it is the entry level stainless valve, and obviously the go-to BTR, you know, double polish valve spring kit with the titanium retainer. So again, just you know, focusing on quality, you know, so that way we don't have any issues. Um, and then uh, from there. We will go through um, the install of the cylinder heads here. We're gonna you know bring you through and just show you you know the installation of the valve springs and what we do there. We actually put them together in our bridge port because it makes it real easy to slide down and get these things locked together. And then we'll go back in and, and install the heads and show you, um, you know, what push rods, rockers, and preload we're gonna do, so. All right, so now we have the top end all assembled. Rock arms we use in a factory rock arm with the BTR Premium Trunnion Kit. Uh, push rods, we're also using a BTR 080 wall push rod with this um, ARP head bolt. So again, you know, back to, you know, quality, you know, components that, we're not going to have any issues with stuff that we use, you know, week in and week out here. Um, and then let's get down to the camshaft. So obviously you guys know that we're going to use the Chuck Norris cam from BTR. So that has a duration at 50 on the intake is 212 um, on the exhaust is 225. Lift is uh, 553 on both intake and exhaust. And then the biggest thing is the lobe separation angle. So that's 106 and a half and that is the main thing for producing torque. So that, you know, lobe separation angle being low like that is gonna really bring the torque up, you know, from the bottom. So you're gonna see a big, big torque curve in the beginning versus if we had this, you know, that lobe separation angle out at 112 or 114, you'd probably, I bet you would lose about 30 foot pounds of torque there. So that's gonna be the real, interesting thing you know when we get on the dyno, especially with this truck intake manifold. So this is so high because the runners are so long. So basically the air will come in and it'll go through that long runner. So the longer the runner is, the more it's going to promote torque. And then along with that, you know, LSA being, you know, a lot lower, that's going to also promote a bunch of torque. Um, the sticker, Truck Norris sticker says the chop starts here. So that at 106, that's going to have a, you know, good snap to the idle. So it should sound really cool, but at the same time, you know, have some really good manners for a truck, or you could even put this in a car. I mean, we, we will test this with the street, you know, let's say the Corvette and Camaro, um, you know, low LS3 factory intake with a 90 millimeter throttle body. So we're going to do some overlays when we do the testing next week and next week's video from the truck intake, which will be, you know, higher torque to the car um, intake, which will be a much 
you know, um, shorter runner, which will, should be, you know, higher, you know, horsepower and, and obviously less torque. That'll be interesting to see the overlay and see what the difference is, you know, um, in torque, you know, you know, with those two intakes. And then, you know, remember, this same engine, um, you know, we could, you know, put a different cam in and, you know, and use that, you know, that um, car intake and probably produce, like I said, you know, an easy 550 horsepower. I'm just curious what this small cam will make, you know, for torque and, and for how much horsepower. You know, will this intake be done at 5,500 or 6,000? Will it run all the way to 6,500? Who knows? But we're going to find out. So, you guys check out next uh, next week's you know video where we'll do all the testing and all the overlays, um, and uh, we'll see you there.